Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a wig review which I haven't done in a very long time and I was lucky enough to be sent some wigs to review by Janet Collection. So I'm gonna be showing you two of the wigs that I was sent today. So this is the best I could do. I'm really not that great at braiding so I just stretched my hair before like I blow dried it with my Revere and then I just did these chunky braids. And I just have like a bobby pin in the back pinning everything up. I already washed my hair prior to revering it and then I moisturized it, oiled my scalp, everything because a protective style is not a protective style if you didn't actually do anything to help your hair, strengthen your hair, moisturize and hydrate your hair prior to doing that style. So I always make sure if I'm going to be wearing wigs, braids, crochet braids, twists, anything, I always start on clean, freshly washed and moisturized hair. If you see some marks on it, that may be makeup. It was like in my makeup drawer. It's a really old wig cap, like I literally, this is the only one I have. So, and unlike you guys in the US, I don't have like um, a beauty supply store that I can run to. To grab another wig cap, I would have to order one. So the first wig I'm going to be showing you is the Gabriella wig. I already took it out, so it's like all upside down. But yeah, this is how it looks. This is the package it comes in and I'm just going to take that out. And this is the Gabriella wig and the color is Coco Blonde. So this is how it looks. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't think I've ever worn a hair this color before, but I kind of wanted to try something different, not just do the regular 1B. So I'm going to try this one. So this is how the inside looks. So it's not a full lace wig, and this is just a regular synthetic wig. I'll have the prices on the screen. So it has two straps in the back, two adjustable straps, and a total of three combs. Two at the top of the wig and one at the back. This is how it looks straight out of the pack. I actually like it. I didn't think I was gonna like this color. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this color, but I think it looks pretty cute. Um, I am going to brush it out a bit and fix this part. And I didn't use any of the combs. It's pretty snug. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of foundation and I don't have any powder foundation, unfortunately. So I'm going to use a little bit of this Alakay Naturals mousse, just to kind of tame it down a bit. There is a little bit of shedding, not a lot. So you can see the difference between both sides. And I actually really love this wig. I feel like it looks really good and it feels really nice. Normally when I wear a wig, it feels kind of uncomfortable or it's tight. And this just feels really good on my head, like I, almost as if I'm not wearing anything. It's very lightweight, so I absolutely love that. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So like I said before, this is the Gabriella wig and it's in the color Choco Blonde. You can get this Janet Collection wig at Ebony Online, Diva Tresses, and your local beauty supply store. For you guys that kind of want a reference of how long the hair is, um, I am 4'11 and it catches me right at my boobs. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And now I'm going to move on to the next nice. wig. So this wig is actually a shorter version of the first wig. The first wig is the Gabriella wig and this is the Ella wig. And the color is OET1B slash 30. So this is how it looks. I love the color. Actually looks 
pretty similar to the Gabriella. This is the Choco Blonde and this is the OET 1B slash 30. So I'm just gonna put the foundation on the part. This is a little different. It doesn't have any combs. I don't know if that's normal, but no combs at all, just the two straps. This is how it looks now. I think after the Gabriella wig, this one just feels tame. It's definitely just like a shorter version and it also has way less volume. Not sure if I prefer it actually. So you guys let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below. And it feels pretty good on my head. It actually, I don't know, I actually feel like I would prefer if it had a comb for once because it just kind of feels like it's gonna slip back. Let's see. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not even staying on my head really good at all. Okay, I'm gonna try tightening the straps. Okay, way better. So, I, I, I didn't tighten the straps the first time. So, this is how it looks. And I'm just gonna use a little mousse to smooth the top down. Not so much the curls, I just think the top is a little bit has a hump in it. I think this one feels really good. I am not so sure about the fact that it doesn't really have any combs in it. It's a bit slack. I love colors that start off black and then transition into whichever color. It just kind of looks a bit more natural. Well, the color job is very good. The curls are nice and the hair feels okay. It definitely has a synthetic feel to it but it's not bad so overall i think this is a very good wig and i actually like how it feels i would definitely wear this to work out on a date night so i really want to thank janet collection for sponsoring this video and sending me these wigs i absolutely love them and i definitely can't wait to rock these wigs they're perfect colors for the fall so let me know if you'll be snagging any one of these wigs anytime soon if you like them if you don't like them which one is your favorite are you team gabrielle or team ella and if you guys are interested in seeing more wig reviews on this channel definitely let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one